Oh, hello, and welcome back to Foundation. I'm Risen32. So last time we noticed we had a sh tool shortage and we are still in the grips of that and it's costing us a fortune. So today we need to work on that. Before we do that though, let's have a, look, a little look at how everything else is sitting. So if you do like this video, guys, please hit that like button and maybe consider subscribing to the channel as well. So as we can see from our storage here, we're a little bit low on textiles, but we are holding in some common clothes. So maybe we... How are we doing for wool? We're quite low on wool. We've got lots of milk. Uh, we'll look at military missions in a moment. Loads of iron ore. So we could start... Can we export cheese? That might be something for us to export here and bring some extra cash in. So we could, I did mention this last time, set up some storage over here. And I think we might do that. Building's complete, a fish's hut, that is good. So we're trying to increase our fish as well, just to make sure we've got our food going and all. We're low on wood too. And we do have, we've only got two sort of areas at the moment where we are. Oh, look at that, quest complete. We've got a lot of gold. Okay, this is good. Let's pause the game here a second, actually. Got 10 tools, 6 polished stone, 4 bread. Okay, awesome. That is from the military mission we just did. While we've got the cash, what we could look at doing is... We, I do want to sort out... And this is going to be quite a good time because we've got iron here. So let's just unlock these two. How are we doing with cash now? So we have just rinsed our cash. However, what this is going to allow us to do is just to push over to the iron here. We can set up a little village, I reckon. They, don't, they probably can just live off the berries. They don't need to live off anything fantastic. Or well, actually, we can make cheese here as well. Yeah, okay, right. Well, let's get the time back on. Let's just get some extraction set up here. So, we, so we're going to want to get rid of the majority of this forest. And we've got our woodcutters set up. We're also going to set up another section. Hang on, let's just turn this on so we can see where we were. Okay, right. What we can also do is we'll probably set it up here, actually. Is we can set up another section that we're going to replant and reforest so we've got a continued wood resource here so we, we'll, we'll look at that so we do this there we go awesome cool so we get that set up there like so that's gonna be good now we want to continue our extraction because we're gonna have i think we might just be able to feed these guys off cheese and berries we we've not finished it, get, getting rid of things cheese and berries we have a little market over here they can just get the iron out we could probably get we might be able to get another little uh, coal manufacturing plant set up as well. That could definitely help us. Um, how are you going? You're doing good. We're actually holding coal now, which is a good start. So hopefully when we get the iron smelter here up, that's going to help us too. Let's just increase the speed ever so slightly. Let's have you sitting there. Okay, right. So this forest is going to go. So what we're we going to want over here. So we're definitely going to want to have gathering hut we're going to want to have one of you so we can get some food in here so put you there we're going to want a lumber mill a lumber a lumber camp yeah these are quite negative so if we can squeeze these quite close to the area we're going to want them we're going to want an iron mine too there we go you've also got a negativeness if we squeeze you in like here there we go how are we doing for cash at the moment so we're quite low on cash but these are going to be useful buildings then we want a forestry hut, a forestry hut, forestry hut, forestry camp. There's no real negativity from this. We haven't got the gold to do this at the moment. We do have the gold to do this at the moment. We can sit you kind of like back here. There we go. Now what we're also going to want is we're going to want a warehouse in here too. Get the warehouse. We're going to stick the warehouse sort of over this side. So, so we know that sort of like this area here is quite a negative for, our, for people living, so we'll have the li them living probably over here would make sense. And then if we want to store the coal, we can store the coal, that would be fine as well. We're also going to want to have, we don't need a dairy farm, but we do need a cheese maker, is that right? Yeah, we do. So then we're going to want to have a granary over here. Granary doesn't have anything negative on it. We are out of cash, which is not great. Okay, so... How are you doing? You are getting built. Do we have any people spare while we wait for some cash to come in? We do have a couple of jobs. We can get a few more fishermen up and going. That is good. What we've got here? Transporter. You're full now. Okay. So that's all the jobs done. We're just waiting for this to be finished. Do we have more people free? We have a couple of unemployed. We've got a reasonable amount of people now. What are you up to? We're up to almost 200. So, so we're getting to a nice 
We have a nice population that's close actually let's keep you open if we can get the granary in that'd be awesome no not yet not yet okay good hopefully when we get this iron smelter up we're gonna see a few more items being made who wants a meeting with us there you go now who are we trying to keep happy who's the closest to giving us I guess it's the trade bonuses that we're after now. So you've got 13. Okay, you've got two. So the clergy, no, the people will give us... That's the labour. What do they want? Five bread. So we'll do the king. Ah, okay, oh, we almost had it then. Oh, there it is. Oh, done. Okay, awesome. That gives us an extra 200 gold. Let's go spend this gold wisely. And let's get this granary in and then let's send some people off to do some... I guess fighting for us that was for better words send them off to campaign for us that's what we're going to call it crusade crusade i think crusade sounds quite good so now we want to have a cheese maker and we'll put you in here yep and then how are we doing for money we're quite poor cool awesome what we can also do for the moment is we'll sign our residential area and i'm thinking we're going to put them sort of at the back over here there's no reason why they don't want to live in this area spread them out like so and then we can have a nice little market in there once this is all gone we can do a bit more yeah we'll, pr we'll put the market sort of spread it out along here and it'll give all this a nice little green um a positive feeling to it we did put a woodcutter in it okay good um are we paused we are let's speed this up right so let's get everyone to work bit of cash coming in we're not going to build the, we're not going to be able to build the market for a little ways so that is fine now, we should see, I'm hoping, what we're going to hit. Yeah, look, we're, start, we're starting coal now, so that's going to be great. We're getting iron in here. So we're probably going to need a blacksmith. How is, how is our blacksmith doing? You are, you don't have anything in you. Okay, interesting. But just because of the distance from everything, we are getting, we're getting a few more people join the village, which is great. Did we not have a load of these finished... Yeah, okay, you've got people on you, which is good. So we should be getting more fish in now. We should start to see our food sort of get slightly better. Fish is increasing, stones getting better, berries. We've got some tools in for a change. Wood, again, is our bottleneck. We need to keep on top of this wood. So we're tr I'm trying to set up more renewable sort of wood gathering areas. They are starting to get slightly further from the town, but there's not much we can do from that. And this area here is pretty much used for our coal production. But hopefully over here, we will be able to set up another one which will just feed building, possibly, once we've got all these built. Now, I'm just waiting for this iron smelter to be built, and then we can consider pushing a few things up. We've got a few houses popping up in town, which is good. They can be upgraded, so that is great. Upgraded? Upgraded. Did we build a copperage? Sure. Oh, no, we couldn't afford to. We still need to get a copperage down. Maybe we'll put that in the... Much part of town how's our cathedral coming on this is coming on quite nice we're making progress with it we do need to get we are gonna have to import some glass so we are gonna have to set up when we get a market up and running in this town we will have to set up storage for our imported goods i reckon so we can get them delivered to the market quite nicely i'm also wondering if we get we've got a warehouse if we get a granary in another warehouse set up over here I'm just wondering, no, because you're not full and you hold textiles wall. We probably are going to have to consider getting an extra sheep farm up at some stage. But I reckon we'll probably branch out and do that in another village and see if we can get just we'll make textiles and get them shipped in. I think that should help us. Well, we've got a lot, lot, th a lot of buildings being built at the moment, which is why wood has been ransacked. So hopefully, oh yeah, you're there. I just want this iron smelter to be made. What, what are you missing? You're up. Okay, good. So we should now start to see more iron being made i do feel like we need a blacksmith over here as well being as we've got everything else here possibly we've probably got people traveling a long way to get to work as well so how is the area so we've got quite a big area we could probably extend this slightly we can see we can squeeze another couple of houses in over here that is fine what about on the other side here yeah i don't mind squeezing a few more in this village would probably grow okay we've got that's a farm isn't it okay there we go we've got a nice little area here we don't have any money to do any sort of decorations at the moment although saying that it is going up slightly 
which is great. So we'll see if more people come into the area. They probably won't. There is a big space here where we could have a house, but nobody is taking it yet. So it also could be that people aren't really working over here, so they don't want to live this end of town. So you're making iron. So we've got iron being stored. So hopefully we're going to see the blacksmith kick on. I am tempted to build a blacksmith over here, but I would kind of rather get this area set up before we do that. We are now seem it is seeming like we are making a bit more money, which is great. Got a few buildings over here. I'm not that worried about promoting people at the moment because we kind of hit all our targets. So we're gonna leave them as is. Right, so let's we've got the cheese maker, we've got the granary, and we've got that all set up here. We've got the housing set in. Do we want to we probably want a secondary area for this, or we could build it off the back of this village. What I'm thinking of doing is I'm just thinking wondering whether we want to get sort of more clothes being made, and we probably do, so we're probably we're gonna want a tailor's workshop, but I don't think we want to do that quite yet. Let's wait for this to be built. And we could at least just make the textiles and keep everybody busy. So we're just gonna we're just gonna prioritize is probably the word I was looking for. This area here should be good. So we prioritize these building means people probably come over and start building them. Most likely gonna to have to start assigning more people to bee builders. Maybe they can't get through these trees. I am not sure, but we've got a good amount of cash coming from. So we're gonna leave this area to be constructed. Hopefully, I feel like we are making more tools now. It would be good if there was a way to see sort of how much we are producing that would be great we, we don't have any warnings that so life is good village information windows we're also 200 population which is great and we're now we're now at 200 population awesome so that is good so should we train some more soldiers i think we should and then we can get more missions going on there so let's see how many people we've got spare at the moment we've got quite a few i imagine oh, we've got four so let's put a couple of soldiers in I don't think that's the best way to do it. I think we're probably better off doing it through the workplace list. Told you, yep. What is that? Did that work? I'm not sure. One, two. There we go. Cool. There's another couple of soldiers. Let's have a look at the military and see if we can send anybody off. Yep. So that we've got we've got a few wounded soldiers, so we probably can't send them off anywhere. Give them some swords, partially trained. There we go. Oh, unarmed. So we've got a couple of wounded. We've got any really easy missions? Easy. New mission. Hmm. Twenty days left to send soldiers. Do we want to do the mission? The mission did really help get us some cash in. Let's view the mission. Let's see. Prepare to send the troops. How many do we need? So, so who is not injured? So we can take male eight four three, a female eight seven eight three. Need more names. I did have a mod on, but it doesn't seem to be doing it very well anymore 783 843 I did a load of names but it isn't 843 there you go success probably yeah, extreme let's send this chap here 1477 as well it's as it looks like this is going to succeed send there we go and they'll head off and do that mission hopefully bring us in what was battle history oh, okay cool Wounded list. We are getting wounded people. So, I mean, I do want to kind of grow our army. So let's get 11 soldiers going and we'll get all these soldiers tooled up. And then we can kind of probably do multiple missions, which would be great. Um, we are making swords, so we might as well equip these people up and get them trained. We can see them down here just in the in our little military camp here training away, which would be great. We're now lacking space for seven villages. Okay. This was always going to happen. So we probably do need to look at probably increasing the desirability over here. Oh, well. Well, I'm kind of hoping people will move out, move out this area. What happens if we start bringing people over here? More people, more people joining the village. We're doing well for people coming. Everyone wants to be part of us now. So we probably need to start planning a market over here. So I'm just going to pause it where we've got some money. Let's... Think about our market. So we know that this area here is where everyone's happy. We want to have, we want to have definitely some food. Because we're going to have a blacksmith nearby. We could probably do some tools as well. Oh, actually, this has got a good range in the positiveness. So we can set you up. Let's put you like here. We'll put another one. 
probably like so so we've got two food types because we can do what can we do from here we're going to do cheese and berries and then we want to have some tools we could look at doing some luxury tools later but these are more sort of villages like trying not to make it too neat quite sort of ruffled area so we've got 50 gold so we've got food food and goods goods that's a word that we wanted to let's just put a food sign next to him to help me remember in the future and we will have to set up this market so that we can get everything over there and they will be making we probably are going to put a blacksmith in this area i think that would make sense we could also like get a hat stall over here do we want a hat stall I mean, why not? Why not? Let's put you sort of like here. Do you have a little... Oh, you do. Wooden roof. Okay, well, we've got a hat stall in here. Um, doing a knife grinder and workplace. I mean, it would make sense, wouldn't it? It gives them a little sort of something different as a market. Purposely setting them up so it's not quite like neat here because in my mind, I'm like, well, they've just kind of... Oh, okay. I'm going to do that. Okay. In my mind, it's like, they've just come, and there we go. Just come, set a business. This is what they're doing. And this is how it how it should work. We can't afford the knife grinder, okay? Can't afford the hat, either. Okay. Why, why, why can't we afford... Goods? We can't afford the goods. Okay, how much is the goods? The goods is 50. Okay. So we'll leave that little flag in because we need to remember to put goods here. So let's build this. And that will be good. Hopefully what this is going to do is it's going to encourage people to possibly build out here. Because we were short on a few houses. Yeah, five people. Another military mission. Hopefully that is going to happen. People are coming from this end of town. I like that they're walking around waterfront. Once these trees get not down we should be okay we're not actually getting anyone coming out of here so have we got some gatherers oh you're the forest the gathering hook oh you're still being built okay that makes sense i now understand and how are you doing here so we can add a female so we should be getting so we've got someone in here okay awesome so we are it is being built and this is going to feed in how are our tools the tools aren't coming along great we are holding iron and coal here, so which is good. A little bit of wood is starting to appear as well. Loads of iron ore. We have got a mine over here. I do think we should have a blacksmith in this area too. Not quite sure where we're going to put the blacksmith. I, th I think we should definitely have one. We're now we're going to have extra iron. We've got two, three coal stations up and running, have we not? Yeah, okay. How are you doing for storage? You're not built. Okay, let's get you built. How are we doing for storage in town? Are you, are you not? Are you here? Berries, fish, no. You. Coal, iron ore. We're still lacking coal, so we, we kind of need to push the coal to get this up and going, I reckon. I mean, you've got one tool, so we are making tools, but I think we're definitely going to need another blacksmith. Yeah. Let's have it out of town. There we go. Can't afford it, can we? We've got no gold. Okay. Hopefully, our soldiers are going to bring in some money for us. That's what we need from them. Nothing else being of you look built. Aha. Yep. So let's get you constructed. Now maybe we'll get some houses set up over here. They're gonna be doing the long walk until the houses or till someone moves in. How is the desirability here? Can we sort of get this spread out a little bit? I mean it's looking okay. It'll be better. Aha. So let's just like bring you in here. We could we could always have a house there. I think that would be fine. Trying not to sort of encroach on the trees too much because we're going to need this wood eventually. And we also want to have a another market store, don't we? That was, that's what we wanted to have. And we're going to have to wait until we've got a bit of money coming up. We've got another audience being requested. There's always a good opportunity for us to make some money. So we wanted to do... Oh, trade bonus. Okay, that's good. So we've got the trade bonus from the kingdom. So maybe we look at getting the trade bonus now from the from the labor that would be the people what do they want so they want five bread which got 14 days to do it okay we might struggle with that maybe we won't no we've done it awesome cool so that gives us a little bit of extra gold as well which is gonna be great that's just gonna help us buy some more tools you can already see we're spending that as well let's turn this desirability letter off there we go 
no that was the one that's a fertility oh there we go that's off so we've got the granary almost built we have our lumber camp constructed as well we are lacking people no one's moved over here yet but this is all just going to feed in once we get the so what do we want on you so we're going to want to have maybe we can store tools no we don't want to store tools so we're going to want iron ore possibly we could take the iron ore out of there and put the iron ore in here no that doesn't make sense because they can just ship it that's not a long way to go so we definitely want wood yep we've got no stone coming over it so it's just wood at the moment we could no i don't think we need to i'm just thinking in my mind what we're going to need over here because we've got berries to feed the people we've got a lumber camp so we've just got wood at the moment wood and iron ore is probably a good one um what's the chance of a success here probability high okay let's send them on another one our soldiers were victorious that is good now what else can we put in here so wood i think we are going to want iron ore just makes sense to keep it here wherever iron ore is yep that is good and then maybe we do put tools in here too because i think we will have a blacksmith in this area i think that is going to make sense for us we could probably afford to put one in we can so where is our blacksmith there is so the blacksmith does have a negative little ring around him let's put the blacksmith sort of down yeah brilliant cool and that's going to help us yeah the iron's over here so we've got iron iron ore tools and then we could probably just put iron in here right yeah there we go and that should be good i wonder if we want to take iron out of this warehouse or not no it's filling up we are starting to produce iron maybe we don't want you here maybe we want you over there. i think that'll be fine that's just to produce the iron we should be okay we'll see how that works if we need to shuffle it around we can do a building complete granary awesome right let's get rid of some of these tabs We've got all the tabs opening up here. Let's reduce those. So I think this has gone pretty well. We're doing okay here. We've got trees in. Do we have anybody wanting for work? No, not yet. So we're just waiting on a few villages. So this village here is going to make us, what, cheese? It's going to bring us extra cheese, extra berries. We're definitely waiting on tools. We're going to get another blacksmith up here. And then we need to think about another one, another village, which is going to probably produce us close we were considering doing it over here but i think you know we've got this is going to be our second village in this area so which we can expand on and build more this way if necessary but we don't want them to be they are getting further away which is fine maybe we're gonna to have to consider about having other doors into this town here other doors other entrances is probably a better one enough to prove really promoting people at the moment we will hopefully when we get a bit more cash coming in look at doing that i think what we will consider doing is expanding we could use one of these islands as something, couldn't we? That could be quite interesting. We've got stone and berries on here, so we could have like another little city on there if necessary. This this area needs to be going quite well at the moment. Still haven't put in a copperage, so maybe that's what we need to do. Okay, let's bring them back. Just saying here, Victoria's still one fight to do. Its probability is low. Let's not let's bring them back. Let's not let's not take that chance there that was a good mission by them that's going to get some more gold and materials for the next episode so what's we're working on another little village i think we've got one more to do i'm kind of just waiting i'm trying to increase our production of resources so that we can get the cathedral finished and it is coming really close to being done which is fantastic so hopefully cathedral may be finished may not be finished may be close to being finished by the end of the next episode there we go look at that look at that nice chunk of gold awesome section of bread so we may find ourselves with a cathedral very soon so if you enjoyed the episode guys please hit that thumbs up button comment below and subscribe to the channel all right take care ciao